Glory God, what is he not? I'm seriously mourning that. And especially when I looked at uh, some of the suspects in court, always falling to tears. Tears drew roll down my cheeks. I'm not worried to say that. And let me be the next victim after Sharon. Let anybody murder me because Sharon was murdered. I'm going and going that. Next to that. And me as uh, Sharon's aunt, we also want to say indeed it is a very, very sudden death. But to my sister Melinda, I want to really encourage you by telling you that the Lord is there to fight for you. Even if man cannot fight for you, the Lord is there and the Lord is going to fight for you. My sister Melinda, may you trust upon the Lord at all times. As justice is being, um, as we see for justice that has been said, remember the best God is God. Put God first. From today henceforth, you are going to uh, live without Sharon. But the Lord is going to live with you forever. The Lord is going to take care of you. The Lord is going to keep you. Justice, 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 justice for Sharon, Belly, Otieno, and Betty Machata. want the three people who tortured, raped, and murdered Sharon Bellino Tien to be brought to book. And what we are saying is that we know nationally. We will walk this journey together with the family of Sharon till justice is found. I want to really thank the DPP. I want to really thank the DCI. What now remains is we want to get into the, to the end. This is the first time that we want no stone left and turned. And we are all waiting. Kaluma will join you in watching brief to make sure that there is justice for Sharon. So that the people who think that they can be killing people with impunity, let them know this is a thing of the past. And I want to thank the, DC, uh, the, the, the DPP and the government.